Hi, my friends. Welcome to my WIP and chat. WIP stands for work in progress and chat is just that. I will be chatting while I work on my work in progress and hopefully you will be diamond painting or um, listening to me as a podcast or just sitting back and relaxing and having something to drink. Um, yeah. So, um, I was doing, this is my rose canvas from Art Dot, um, that I started. Um, and I have my rose pen. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is my rose pen. I thought pretty fitting. I have a six placer with pink wax and I have my single placer with um, glue dots. And I'm just using a simple tray. I don't have fancy materials. I kind of feel funny going over my materials with you guys because I don't have anything fancy to report. It's pretty, pretty standard stuff. So so yeah, how are you guys doing? How's your April going? What are you guys working on? You can leave it down below in the comments at the end of this video if you don't want to stop what you're doing. I know I don't want to stop when I'm diamond painting, but at the end of the video, before I go to switch to another one or do something else, I'll usually just comment. I'm already noticing on this canvas that some of these symbols are blurry. It's not my eyes. They're just blurry. The um, C's and what was the other one? Um, what was the other one? The letter E. Yeah, that's what it was. It was really, really blurry. Um, so yeah, this morning I did some, well, I did the dish. I cleaned up the kitchen. There's not much to report really today. I walked for a half hour on my treadmill. Yay for me. I'm hoping to close all three rings on my on my smartwatch today. We'll see. So far I've been doing pretty good with that. I I really need to work out more than 30 minutes a day. I don't know, I just can't seem to do it. I, I went through a period of time where I was literally, I think I got addicted to exercise because I was walking like I 24,000 steps a day. And it was taking up like my whole day. It helped with my weight. <laughs> but yeah, I need to, I'm trying to lose weight. And basically what it comes down to is common sense. I just need to eat less and move more. So um, there's a couple of things that... <clears throat> occurred to me that I could cut out of my, as far as me eating, my husband works at night and so his schedule's all messed up. So it's like, we get up late, according to other people, not to us, we get up like 10, 30, 11, because we don't go to bed until like 2.30, sometimes 3. Um, so we get up at 10, 30, 11, we have, you know, something to eat. Um, and then we do our chores and just, you know, whatever needs to get done. And then he goes to work. He leaves, um, He leaves, why am I totally forgetting when he leaves? Oh, he leaves at 
And so the next time that I eat is, I don't know, like four or five. And it's not like dinner or anything or lunch. It's just like, well, I guess, would it be No, because I don't eat like a full meal. I'll just have like maybe some hummus with vegetables or some nuts, something like that. I don't eat like, it's, it's a snack basically. And then at eight o'clock, he takes his lunch, quote unquote lunch, which is technically dinner really. So I try to eat around eight o'clock too. And then he calls me after he's done eating and we talk. And um, then he gets, okay, so that's at eight o'clock. And then he gets home at around 12.45. Well, we're hungry. <laughs> um, we've got like another two hours or so that we're going to be up and for some reason like from 8 to 1245 when you're up you know you at least want like a snack something you're just hungry and I've just decided that I'm not going to um eat anymore when he gets home because and if I'm really sorry I gotta get this drill off if I'm really hungry Oh, look at this cute bottle real quick that I have for my drills. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. I'm just going to cut that out. I'm not going to eat when he gets home. And if I'm super, super hungry, I'll just have a cup of tea. Because, I mean, it's like ridiculous. It's like, basically, I have breakfast, I have a snack, and then I have dinner. T typically, you know, you would have two snacks. You would have breakfast, snack, dinner, snack. And I'm not doing that. I'm just having breakfast, snack, dinner. And um, yeah, so I'm flipping hungry. And I kind of don't know what to do about that. Maybe I shouldn't cut out that part of it because I'm, I'm legitimately hungry. It's not like I'm like just eating to eat. I'm legitimately hungry, so I don't know. I thought of that, and I thought about getting rid of the creamer in my coffee, too. So, yeah. So there's probably something that you're not noticing in this video, and you won't notice it anymore, and that is the squeaking of my chair. I don't have a squeaky chair anymore. My son, where did this child come from? Where did this child come from? He bought me a gaming chair. He didn't even tell me. He just bought me one. Of course, he picked out a black one because he knew I would want black. But yeah, he bought me a gaming chair and it's so nice. It's like so comfortable. It's got lumbar support. It rocks back and forth. It moves around on the floor really well. It's got armrests. It's just, it's so nice, you guys. And I'm like, well, I'm like, what, what the heck, honey? I'm like, that's, that's for my birthday. That's for my birthday present because I'm not going to have him get me something else. And he's like, no, it wasn't for your birthday. I just got it for you. <laughs> like, thank you. So sweet. Isn't that sweet? He's like, I know that it's really been bothering you and you, you know, you're in there all the time working on your diamond paintings and I just, I thought that it would be helpful. I'm like, oh, honey, my gosh. I don't even know how much he spent on it. I mean, I I can tell based off of the chair that he spent a lot of money. Isn't that sweet? Man. Yeah. And... 
unbelievable. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for the chair. I love it. It's like, well, it's as comfortable as our armchairs. It's really nice. Oops, what did I do here? Oh, I don't know. I think I dropped a drill. So I think in another video, I talked about my husband installing a motion light by our trail. I talked about that in one of my videos because like he he's like really into like security and all that kind of stuff. You guys see any more C's? I don't see any more. And he set up this motion light. And so um the other night he went to go check on it. And you can see it off of our front porch. And it was on. He's like, what the heck? And the motion light can sense things up to 26 feet away. He's like, why is this on? Well, he always has a flashlight with him, I swear. I'm not even kidding you. I'm doing the letter A. Um, and I was upstairs in our bedroom and I was looking out the window and I could see he had the flashlight and he was shining it down the trail. And I'm like, what, what is he doing? I couldn't see that the motion light was on. I don't know why I couldn't see the motion light, that the motion light was on, but I couldn't. And um, he was shining the light down the trail and I can see something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a deer right there. Well, there were two deer. Our goats, the girls are in a paddock right now that's, that butts up against the trail. And there were just two deer just standing right there. They, they weren't even bothered by his flashlight. Um, and so he came back inside and um, we brought up the trail camera on our TV and we just watched the deer for... I don't know, hour or so. They were just hanging around, walking around, eating grass and horsetails. And yeah, it was really cool. They were really close to our house. We had a guy one time, one of Brendan's friends asked if he could come out onto our property and hunt deer. And he had a, a permit and all that, whatever you need to get. And I'm like, yeah, you can come out here and do that. So he set up a blind, but um, he wasn't patient. He wasn't a patient guy. Brennan's like, he pretty much gives up on everything. I'm like, oh, okay. But he set up this like really elaborate blind and he only came out like a couple of times to hunt, but he didn't get a deer. So, but yeah, that was cool. I really like seeing that. Very cool. So what else? Um, this last weekend, the boys went shooting at the shooting range and had fun doing that. They had bonding moments. Coco gets so scared. Oh my gosh. There's no consoling her. She's just absolutely terrified. I don't blame her. It's like fireworks, you know, going off. So, but they had a lot of fun doing that. And then we had, um, was it Saturday night? Yeah, it was Saturday night. Um, we did pizza and a movie. We got Papa Murphy's. Oh my gosh, I love their pizza. I get the vegetarian delight, but... I have to get them to not put, there's like a cream sauce that they put on there. So we just went with marinara or you can go with like, they have like a garlic olive oil one that's really good. But um, yeah, we did pizza in a movie and Brennan was like, oh, he's like, have you guys seen Roadhouse? And I'm like, no. 
He's like, do you guys want to watch it? And I'm like, well, I don't even know what that's about. But I'm like, yeah, I mean, if you want to see it, we can totally watch it. And um, I can't remember who's in there. Okay, so there's a fighter guy that he's like a real, an actual boxer or an actual MMA fighter or whatever they call him. I'm sorry, I just spilled some drills on here. Um, he's Irish. What's his name? Oh, something McGregor. So he's in it. Um, Jake, somebody is in it. I don't know. It's called Roadhouse. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there was an original movie called Roadhouse that had Patrick Swayze in it. I don't even know what year that was. That was freaking million years ago now. But, um, yeah, it was a good movie. I thought it was a good movie. It had some funny parts, and actually a lot of it was pretty funny. Um, they did a good job with the comedy. But um, I won't spoil it. I don't like giving spoilers to people. So if you haven't seen it and you would like to see it, I would give it a 4 out of 5. Yep, 4 out of 5. There's a lot of fighting and stuff in it, but it's not like you would think. I mean, it's not like... <clears throat> oh my gosh, What I can't keep spilling these drills. And then um, we were done with that movie, and we were like... Brenda was like scrolling through all these movies. And this movie popped up, and it was called... Um, it was called Premonition. And it had Sandra Bullock in it. I'm like, wait, 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 slow down, stop. Let me see. What does that say? And um, that's another really good movie. But I'm going to give it a three out of five because they leave you hanging. Like you honestly at the end of the movie are so confused. Again, I'm not a spoiler person. I'm just going to say at the end of the movie, you are left so confused that we were actually irritated. We were like, are you kidding? Like, what the heck was going on the whole time? So it's a really good movie. And I think if you... It's a movie where I think you'd have to watch twice to really, like, grasp what's going on. I don't know. But um, it is a good movie. I would recommend that you see the movie, put it that way. It's just, my only thing is that at the end, you're just left hanging and it's kind of like, what? Like, what happened? So, but it's got Sandra Bolt in it and it's called Premonition. So that was fun. We had a really fun time. A really good time. We always have a good time when we watch movies. I swear half of it, we're like talking. We're, we're that type of family. We're like talking the whole time. And then we're like, shh, there's a good part. Shh, listen, what do you say? <laughs> we gotta stop talking. So that was Saturday. Oh, I know. I, so I find you guys have heard me complaining about that I'm using my 60 case all the time and it's the purple one with the butterflies on it and I'm like you reusing it reusing it reusing it reusing it because I don't have anything that's between 60 and 120 so I went on to Amazon and I found a 96 um, bottle container thanks to somebody who is super nice and she is just the kindest person ever on YouTube. I don't know if she wants me to mention her name. So, but anyway, she let me know she had a 96 case and I found it. Um, and I purchased it and I got it. And I really, really like it. So it'll be perfect for my, um, if you guys haven't seen my Craftably unboxing, go and check it out. It's um, Cascading Colors is what I purchased from them. 
and it'll be perfect for that because it's 78 colors and I you know I was contemplating I'm like well what am I going to use my 120 case my 120 bottle <laughs> you know for 78 colors like I don't think so um isn't this colorful it's really pretty I gotta get my glue dot not so sticky here so yeah I got I got that off of Amazon. I'm trying to remember how much it was. Um, it was $26. It was a little under that, but it was like, I'm rounding it up. It was $26. So yeah. And y'all, my husband, he got me a new tripod. It is one that I can sit on the floor, on the floor, and it will reach up high enough to where I can film, and it's not on the counter, so you don't have to look at the tripod. It um, has a remote on it. Um, I'm not sure how it works. It's with Bluetooth, so like you can turn it on and off without having to touch your phone, which I really don't care about that, but um, yeah, it's got like a flexible thingy madu on the top. And, um, yeah, cause the one that I was using was from back when we had a camcorder. I literally found it in the garage and I was like, oh, this is a nice tripod. Cause it was the only tripod I had. And so, Remy, stop throwing those drills out. Um. Yeah, it was back from when we had a camcorder and I just made it work. We just like MacGyvered it. So now I've got a real, I feel like a real YouTuber. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. And then we we've been buying a lot of stuff lately. I don't, it, but it's been necessary stuff. So we have a lot of property here and there's like a lot of underbrush and it's, it's hard to get equipment in here because of the way our house is positioned on the property. Our house is like at the, what I would consider the beginning part of our property. And then it just goes into deep woods and stuff like that. And so like, you can't really get a piece of, and we've got fruit trees lining the driveway. So you can't get a piece of machinery through there because it won't fit. Um, so my husband bought, it's called a B, DP trimmer. And basically it's like a lawnmower with like a chainsaw blade on the front of it and it'll just like mow down blackberries and bushes and small trees and all this kind of you push it like a lawnmower I don't really understand it I'm gonna have to it's supposed to come tomorrow and I'm gonna have to like he's gonna have to show this thing to me because he keeps describing it and I'm like what I'm not quite gra grasping the concept of it um, cause I'm like a chainsaw blade on the front and it, you push it like a mower, but it also has string like a weed eater. Like, I don't understand that, but he's, anyway, he's really excited. So he's going to be taking down a bunch of our brush and we've got some blackberry bushes that are on the edge of our driveway um, that are just encroaching and we've been meaning to take it down for a long time. I have, there's like, there's like four or five trees that I still, I need to have our tree guy come out. We have a, a guy that's done our trees before. I have like, I don't know, five, six trees that I need for him to take down. Um, because they're either dying or they are dead or um, they're too close to the house. And I worry a lot about 
wildfire season, um, there's no way that I can cut down the amount of trees that I would need to make sure that our house was safe from wildfire. There's just, it's just impossible, but I do worry about it. Um, oh God, I worry about everything, but I do really, truly worry about a wildfire here. Um, cause we are just thick, thick in the forest. I mean, it's thick. And a fire went through here, oh, like 100 years ago or something like that. And just devastated everything. So hopefully, hopefully we don't have a bad wildfire season this year. I hope nobody does. I hope everybody is free from wildfires. Let's do that this year. Because, man, every year, just I swear, it just gets worse and worse and worse. Remember last year in Canada? Do you guys remember that? The fire, the wildfires that were going on up there? That was insane. Remember, like, New York was completely um, blacked out, basically, from the smoke? Oh, that was so awful. We had that years ago here um, because part of BC was on fire. And we had to wear masks if you went outside, um, which basically did nothing. And so I ended up buying uh, respiratory masks, like the actual, I don't know what it's called. It's like an, uh, I should know this from the pandemic. You know how there's the N, N100s or whatever? I don't know. This is like a, an N, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. <laughs> it was a respiratory mask and we needed it because it was pretty bad. The smoke was really bad. So I just hope we don't have that this year. Can we just not please have wildfires? How do they all start? And then Texas, not that long ago. Did you guys hear about that? They had a really bad wildfire go through there. It just devastated the area. It's horrible. It feels so bad for those people. You know, one day you have a house and the next day it's gone. Everything's just gone. I can't imagine. Anyway. The other thing that's going on is, remember, um, I told you guys that my husband hit a deer. This was a long time ago now. And that he fixed up his car and he got all this stuff finally done and blah, blah, blah. I've told you guys a lot about that. Well, the car that, so he bought what we call a donor car. So it's, it's the same type of car that he has. And he pretty much just paid like $700 for it. What symbol is that? Oh, okay. These these symbols are a little hard to read, I'm gonna be honest. They're they're kinda they're kinda hard to read. Can you even see me right here? Right. Right here? Yeah, you can. Ooh, -hoo. it's right on the edge though. Okay. Um you're probably diamond painting anyway, so which is good. Um but the donor car, so he took a bunch of stuff out of it, like the airbags, the seatbelts, the um, the fender, the hood. Um, I don't know all the, a bunch of different components from the car. So this car has just been sitting on our basketball court, just sitting there, and it looks awful because it doesn't have a hood, it doesn't have a bumper, and I'm just like, oh. I, cause I just cannot stand stuff like that. Like I do not want, okay, fuck. I do not want like our property or our house to look, look like that. I mean, it was a necessary evil, but so my husband contacted the local, um, whatchamacallit, um, junkyard. Is that what it's called? 
junkyard you know like a auto wrecking yard or whatever yeah auto wrecking yard and um i'm like yeah just have them take it away you know i don't care how much it costs well they're coming to pick it up and apparently we're getting like almost $300 for the car. I'm like, wait, what? They're going to pay us to take the car away? That's not something I was expecting. I'm super happy about it, but I'm like, what? I thought we were going to have to pay, which I was fine with just to get rid of it. So yay, they're going to take it away. And it's, it's coming up here too. Um, pretty soon. I can't remember when. Oh yeah, it's on Thursday. Today's, wait, am I right? Yeah, today is Monday. They're coming on Thursday. So, okay, what number should we do next? Number, let's do number seven. Number seven. Wow, there's nothing of this. Look at, there's nothing of this color. Okay, number seven. Oh, I forgot that there is some stuff in um, the bag, the mesh bag that I have for her though, so. Okay, my friends, well, I think it's time for our question time. I've got some good ones today. I've been working hard at this. I've been looking. I've been looking. I've been searching. I've been thinking. Oh, yeah. So I got some good ones today. Are you ready? Okay, get your thinking caps on. The first one is, and maybe you've heard this one before. Sorry if you have, but the first one is, is cereal a soup? Is cereal a soup? <laughs> it's a tricky question. Is it cereal or is it soup? There's cold soups. There's like cucumber soups, you know, like in the summertime. So it's not like a temperature thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to say no, it's not a soup. <laughs> But technically, it could be a soup. I mean, if you really want to get technical about it, what, what defines a soup anyway? You know, a liquid broth with, you know, something in it. So you've got your milk and there's something in it. So I don't know. Is cereal a soup? Ask your friends. See what they say. Okay. Oh, you guys, I got to stretch. My shoulders are killing me. I don't know why either. Okay. What's the weirdest movie you've ever seen? Ow, man, my shoulder blades. What's the weirdest movie you've ever seen? The weirdest movie you've ever seen. I thought about this and I'm like, well, there's a lot of weird movies that I've seen, but... The one that popped into my head was Motel Hell. It's it's a B movie. And it's so bad. It's such a dumb movie. It's about, I won't give a spoiler, but it's about this guy who runs this motel. And, um... It's got, so the motel has like a hello sign. And then at the beginning of the movie, the O like flickers out. So it says motel hell instead of motel hello, like hello. Um, but it's about this guy and he like makes the best sausage in the world. And people come from far and wide to buy his sausage and his meats. And I won't give it away. It's a B movie. If you ever want to like watch, like, if you're if you're into that kind of stuff, because I kind of like watching stupid movies that are supposed to be. It's a, by the way, this is supposed to be a scary movie. If I 
left that part out. This is supposed to be a scary movie and um, it's absolutely not <laughs> in any way, shape or form a scary movie. It's just not, it's pretty bad, but yeah. I think that's the weirdest movie I've ever seen. And if you've seen it, you know why it's weird. I don't, like I said, I'm not a spoiler, so I kind of can't tell you why it's weird, but you would know if you've seen it. So that's for me. My husband said Brazil, and I don't remember that movie. He's like, don't you remember it? And I'm like, mm -mm. so that was his answer. He was confused with the soup thing too. He wasn't sure. He was like, huh, that could go either way. Do you guys see any more sevens? Don't look up if you're diamond painting, but if you're not diamond painting, do you see any more sevens? I don't. See, the number two and the letter, I can't even see what that is. Is that the letter B? But that looks like the number six. You guys, this canvas is really giving me a hard time. I think those are sixes. Wait, what is this? Where is another six? Sorry, just give me a second. Those are sixes. Can you guys see this? No, you can't. Right? Here, I'm going to hold it up because you're not going to believe this when I show this to you. Okay. Do you see the B's and the sixes right there? So there's a B and there's a six. Look how close those are. Is it just me? I don't think it's just me. I don't think it's just me. I was like, that doesn't look right. It just, it looked weird. Okay. Anyway, I had to show that to you. What, what number am I on? Oh, number seven. Okay, I'm done with that. Um, okay. Next one. Okay, now this one, my husband and I were kind of like, hmm, over. Let me pick out a letter P. You guys, I put everything in alphabetical order in the, on this kit. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, go back and watch it. Um, Because this is the first time I've ever kitted something up in alphabetical order. And numerical order. So, pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Because I can find stuff really easy and I don't use need to use Legend. I can see what you guys were talking about now. I think I'm going to be doing it from now on like this. I really do. I kind of like it. Okay, so we were going back and forth about this one. So, let me know what you guys think. So, if you were sent back in time to a thousand years ago, how would you prove that you're from the future? How, how would you prove that to somebody? So we were talking about this and my husband like held up his cell phone and I'm like, well, are we allowed to do that? Are we allowed to like be like, yeah, well, I would take my cell phone with me. Okay. Cause obviously that would hands down prove that you're from the future. No, I don't think anybody would question you. I, I'm not sure if you would live very long, but um, they're not going to question you about that. Um, and then the other thing was we were thinking about was our tattoos. And I'm like, yeah, but people have always had, he's like, not in color. Like the, a thousand years ago, people probably had marks on their bodies or like some type of, you know, symbols maybe, but... He's like, our tattoos. I'm like, huh, wonder if that would be something that we could prove that we're from the future. Cause like tattoos today compared to, 
tattoos back then, uh, yeah, I think there's a huge difference. I mean, I know like Islanders have been tattooing for centuries, maybe not centuries, but for hundreds of years. What letter am I working on? P. Okay. Um, can you guys still... There. Right there. Okay, my phone's being weird now. There we go. Um, okay, I don't see any more. Oop, I missed an A. Where I miss letter A. It's gonna have to wait. Okay, we're gonna do letter K. So, what do you guys think? What how would you prove that you were from the future? Because I mean, like, you can't like say, well, like it's a thousand years ago. So unless you had information on events that were going to happen in the air particular area that you were in, such as solar eclipse or you know something like that well ooh no then they probably just think you were like a witch or something i guess from your clothes too maybe the kinds of clothes you're wearing because that would be different i don't know let me know what you guys let me let me know what how you would prove it cell phone tattoos clothes other ideas. Oh, that got stuck on there. My glue dot is just being really sticky. Which is good until it's not good. Okay. What's the grossest food you've ever had to eat to be polite? <laughs> I have a few, so. What's the grossest food you've ever had to eat to be polite? Or have you ever done that? Or just been like, no, thank you. Have you ever eaten gross food just to be polite? That's a question in and of itself. For me, there's a couple of things. So, fruitcake. Disgusting. Absolutely disgust. I don't even know. It's, like my husband said, it's good for a doorstop. That's about it. So, fruitcake is one of them. The other one is caviar. Have you guys ever had caviar? We, um, for our first anniversary, we went to Skamania Lodge, which is on the Washington Oregon border, right by the Columbia River. And um, a beautiful lodge. Oh my gosh, breathtaking. And for breakfast, I was like, oh, I'm having caviar on my egg. <laughs> Ugh. so my egg came it was a soft boiled egg so it was in one of those holders you know where it holds your egg up on a little pedestal and then it had this dollop of caviar on it oh never again never again I mean uh uh no absolutely not and then um, the other one is organ meat. Well, I mean, okay, this was before I was vegan. Organ meat, obviously all this was. Um, any type of organ meat, no, don't like it. Absolutely disgusting. I don't know why people eat organs. Um, it's just gross. My husband's grandma used to always make um, giblet gravy, is what she called it. And it was basically, it was just organs. And the gravy. Yuck. Ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. But um, I actually have a story 
about being polite and eating gross food. And this is my version of gross. So you guys might not think that this is gross, but I absolutely do. So when I was in Italy, um, a few of us went out to eat and we went to this pizzeria. I know how cliche, but we did. We went to this pizzeria. We were recommended it actually by the hotel. And it was just walking distance. Practically everything was walking distance. And so we went to this pizzeria and we ordered some pizza. And it, what, it was so weird, you guys, because everybody in the kitchen, like we were, there was one other table of people in this pizzeria. And, but, and then us. So there were, was there three of us? I'm going to do the letter M. Yeah, there was three of us. And so we ordered our pizza and we didn't think anything of it. And this gentleman comes by and he's got an entire platter of food. He's got, it was this big platter and it had sliced tomatoes with thick slices of mozzarella cheese with um, oregano and basil leaves. And unfortunately, it had anchovies on the plate. Now, basically, what they were doing was they were giving us this for free. They had been watching us the whole time, just staring at us. I mean, it was obvious. We stuck out like sore thumbs that we were Americans. And they had been watching us, the kitchen staff. And so they brought out this large platter and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so nice of them. And I'm like, you guys, we have to eat it. And one of the gal, this was for a, um, this was when I, when I was a teacher, we went to Italy to do some training. And um, one of the gals that I was with, she was just so rude. I don't, she was so rude, you guys. I mean, just to everybody, but I'm like, you guys, we have to eat this. Like they, this is like, they're giving this to us. Like, you know, and they were all watching us too. They were all watching us. And, um, she's like, I am not eating that. I am not eating an anchovy. And I'm like, Karen, I'm like, literally her name was Karen. I am not making that up. I swear to you. Her name was Karen. I'm not even kidding. And I said, Karen, I'm like, they are giving this to us for free. Like, this is like their way of welcoming us. And I'm like, you have to at least try it. She's like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to. And so I <laughs> took a tomato <laughs> and I put some cheese on it. And a little twig of basil or oregano or whatever it was. And an anchovy. And I took a bite and I'm, I'm not, I had my eyes started watering. And I was, that was rough. That was really rough. I do not like anchovies. Um, that was the first time I had ever had an anchovy, and that will be the last time I I will ever have an anchovy. Oh, I take that back. Before I before I um, became vegan, my son had purchased a pizza that had anchovies on it, and he's like, "Do you want a slice?" And he didn't tell me. I'm like, "Sure, thanks." Ugh, I don't know how people eat that. No, no, it's so gross. It's so fishy tasting and it's salty and just ick. No, 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 no. What about you guys? Oh, look, you guys, just a second. Look at how colorful this is. How beautiful, huh? The rose starts right here. This, this part is part of the rose. So I haven't gotten, this is the background, which is absolutely gorgeous. 
But yeah, so I made sure that they saw that we, that I ate some of what they had given us. Meanwhile, Karen's being a, you know what? Oh, I was so embarrassed. I, I, I was, I was honestly embarrassed because I just thought, what a slap in the face. Like, can you at least just be like, I mean, I get it. Like some people are just like, no, I'm not going to eat it. I don't have to eat it. I get it. But it's like, we were in another country and, you know, I don't know. I just felt like, again, it's me. I just felt like we should, you know, at least try it, at least try it. So I took one for the team. But yeah, it was nasty. No, thank you. I will never be doing that again. This is really turning out pretty. It's going really fast too. I don't know, how big is this square? Oh, my tape measure was way over there. Um, well, here's my hand. So, oops, I, as I stick my hand in my, so it's as big as my hand and it's going really fast. So it's around, so pretty stand. I'm really going to have to watch out for this section over here. You guys, this, the, the number sixes and the letter B's are, can you believe that? That's bad. Yeah, that's, that's really, and they're both the same color. Like what? Obviously not exactly the same color, but All right, you guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, I had a good time with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the questions. I hope you enjoyed the company. Um, I hope you guys are getting a lot done on your, your paintings, if you're painting. So anyway, I've got some videos coming up. Um, look forward to those, and yeah, I will talk with you later. Loves.